it's a different experience being a head coach at a, at a military school. What attracted you to the job in the first place? I think the first thing that attracted me to uh, Benedictine was uh, I had been in Savannah for a number of years. I knew the alumni support, and uh, quite honestly, uh, when I first moved to Savannah, I said, well, gosh, those, uh, I don't know, those alumni from B.C. are kind of a little over the top, crazy about that place. And then after being here for a little while, I said, well, I want to know why, you know? And, uh, and then eventually I said, well, I want to be a part of that. Uh, so I think that was the first thing. But then the military aspect, to me, just leads right into athletics uh, because, you know, the military as aspect does teach discipline, leadership, um, you know, and, and those things should just go right into athletics. And I've found that they, they have since we've been here. And, you know, the history of the program and the rivalries and uh, the Thanksgiving Day games and the parades and all that kind of stuff. I mean, the fabric that Benedictine is as part of Savannah is also really cool, too. It is. It is. It is very unique. Uh, you know, the fact that we played five ga games in front of over 5,000 people last year is, is pretty awesome. Uh, the fact that we, we do a cadet walk uh, at some of the big games and, and there will literally be two 2,000 people in the, you know, tailgating in the uh, in the parking lot is pretty neat. And and all of the history behind it is, is, is something I've really enjoyed getting to know about a little bit more. What was the coolest thing that you found out in learning the history that you didn't know about going in? Um, you know, I, I, that, that's so hard to say because there's been so many different things. So then give me a couple. Uh, you know, uh, just talking about the, the Thanksgiving Day games uh, w was really neat. And how many, you know, they would pay, play in front of 15, 16,000 people. And I've seen pictures of that. Uh, people, you know, dressing to the nines and going to the game on Thanksgiving and all. That, that's just really neat. Um, a lot of the rivalries uh, with schools that don't exist anymore or the big name schools that are, you know, uh, from other states that have played BC and just how long that uh, all of that's been going on. It's just really neat. There's the short version. So, of course, there you are. 